when I auditioned for the for Wayne's World, they asked me, "Can you sing?" It's not necessary. Um, we could dub you, and I'm like, "Can I sing?" <laughs> <laughs> no. And then I pulled out my my best my best Pat Benatar. I'm like, "Yes, yeah, with your yeah. best shot." Yes, you know, and perfect. Uh, but I had to learn how to play the bass, which was a little bit of you know rolling yeah. my stomach and patting my hat. I f- I don't know how <laughs> you do that because it's it's you know it is difficult. The, ri- the but rhythm you is completely rocked different. It. I mean, you created an entire movement to this day. People talk about you singing and playing bass. Like you became a role model for so many women, young girls and every and men and every gen, every gender. It's, like that it's, was a it's moment. quite something considering the fact that I didn't actually play bass. I should have kept up with it. <laughs> I, I, when I met Darren Chris, he and his wife actually played Ballroom Blitz, I think, at their wedding reception. And oh she's a bassist. Gosh. She's like, oh, my gosh, I loved you in Wayne's World. And, yeah, it was really cool to see that. You know, even though I was just playing in film, you know, just to have that sort of influence. So you really you I'm did and, and continue to do. And, and that film itself, of course, you know, introducing Bohemian Rhapsody and Queen to an entire new generation. And that is so cool when any form of medium or pop culture, whether it's a film or it's TikTok, introducing iconic music to mm-hmm. a whole new generation, you know, and I would say that Wayne's role is one of the best examples of that. <laughs> 